It is Miss Coates, and I am super excited to introduce you to your daily read aloud with myself. What does that look like? Every day you will get to watch and listen to um, a story that I pick, either one of my favorites, either one of you guys' favorites that I've heard about, or one of your teacher's favorite books. So each day I will be reading and showing you a book and we can either talk about it if you want to call us, call one of your teachers to discuss it, or what it would be a really good idea is to, after you listen to the story, is to discuss what happened in the story with someone who was in your house. Tell them who the characters were, what the setting, what a problem, what a solution, all of those things we have been learning in school. You can definitely do that after each read aloud. Um, you guys will have some read alouds that are fun and funny, some that may be a little bit more serious. You, I may even throw in some unicorn books in there. You never know. But this is an awesome time to get your morning started, your brain growing as you listen and as you see a book each day. With that being said, Miss Coates has chose a story called How to Catch a monster. Here we go. Bedtime was never fun for Eric. He hated washing up. He hated brushing his teeth. And he hated putting on pajamas. Eric would rather play games than get ready for bed. That's when Eric's mom decided to tell him about the monster. What monster, mommy? Eric asked excitedly, jumping up and down. He loved dinosaurs and dragons and animals of every kind. I'm talking about the monsters that'll come and play with you, replied mom. I'll tell you all about it and what to do after you're all washed up and ready for bed. So for the very first time in all of Eric's four long years of life, he willingly took his bath, brushed his teeth, and put on pajamas. Eric proudly smiled and declared, I'm ready. Wow, that was super, honey, mom cheerfully being back. Now, I'll tell you what to do. First, we'll head to the kitchen. But... I don't want to snack. I want to hear about the monster, Eric protested. Mom grabbed Eric's hand and told him, you may not want a snack, but I know someone else who will love a snack. Eric looked into his mom's face and she grinned and winked at him. Oh, the monster, Eric explained. Eric and mom filled a plate with chocolate chip cookies, returned to his bedroom, and placed it next to his bed. Then mom said, now you need to get ready under your covers and say, monster, monster, one, two, three, won't you come out and play with me? This monster will do anything for food, especially cookies. I got it, said Eric. He leaped into his bed and pulled, his, pulled the covers over himself. Then he repeated what his mom told him to say after she left. Monster, monster, one, two, three. Won't you come out and play with me? And I have cookies for you. Eric heard something stomping around his room. Was it the monster? Mmm, yummy cookies, someone cried. Eric took a peek from under his cover and saw the monster. Oh, said Eric, it worked. Are you here to play with me? Grr, said the monster. What do you want to play? Let's play horsey. Give me a, a ride around the room. Please, Mr. Monster. The monster came up next to the bed, got down on his four paws, and Eric climbed on top of him. 
grabbing onto a handful of fur. Hang on now, the monster growled at him. They galloped all around the room, many times with Eric giggling and bouncing up and down. Finally, the monster came to a halt and placed Eric back onto his bed. Good night now, little boy, and thank you for the cookie, said the monster. Thank you for playing with me, said Eric. Will you come back tomorrow? I'll put out some more treats for you. The monster didn't say anything, but walked towards the door and stopped before leaving and smiled at Eric. The next night, Eric zoomed to the bathroom. He washed up and brushed his teeth and then hurried to put on his pajamas. Afterwards, he rushed off to the kitchen and said to his mom, Look, mommy, I'm all done. Now can I please have some cookies to give to the monster? His mom studied him closely. Did you brush your teeth? She asked. Yes, my breath is so nice and minty, Eric said. All right, then you can have some cookies for the monster, his mom said. They carried the cookies to his room and Eric skeered under his covers. Eric's mama left the room. Monster, monster, one, two, three. Won't you come out and play with me? And I have cookies for you. Once again, Eric heard a stomping around the room. There were loud crunching noises as the monster snatched on the cookies. Yum, yum, chocolate chip, my favorite, said the monster. Eric hopped out of bed. Mr. Monster, you're back. Will you play with me? Asked Eric re before remembering his manners. Please? Hmm, since these were good cookies. Sure. What do you want to play? The monster waited for Eric's reply. How about hide and go seek, Eric said. Okay, said the monster, covering his eyes. One, two, three. Wait, I'm not ready, Eric giggled. Eric hid under his bed. The monster found him. Then the monster hid in the laundry basket. Eric found him too. They played for a while before the monster said, it's time for bed. Good night, little boy, and thank you for the cookies. Thank you for playing with me, said Eric a, with a yawn. The monster took Eric into the bed and left. The monster visits continue, and Eric became, Eric became quick at washing up and brushing his teeth and putting on his pajamas. He became so quick that his mom had to send him back to the bathroom because he still had soap bubbles in his hair. One night, Eric went to the kitchen and asked for some more cookies to give the monster. I'm sorry, Eric. We don't have any more cookies. I will make more tomorrow, said his mom. What? But I wanted to play with the monster, explained Eric. Well, there are some apples. You can give these to the monster, his mom told him. Besides, apples are healthier, and I happen to know that monsters love them. Okay, said Eric. Eric went to bed and snuggled under the bl blankets. Monster, monster, one, two, three, won't you come out and play with me? Eric shouted be before adding, I don't have any co cookies, but I do have some nice apples. Eric waited. Then there was a familiar stomping noise and the munching of the apples. Eric pulled off the covers and grinned at the monster. Yay, Mr. Monster, let's play, said Eric. The monster swallowed a bite of apple and then and what shall we play tonight, he asked. 
helicopter, cried Eric, stretching his arms straight up. Let's play helicopter, please. The monster picked up Eric by his arms and began to turn on the spot. They spun around and around. Eric let out a squeal as his feet were lifted off the ground. Whee, said Eric. They did this several times before the monster's arms got tired and he plopped Eric down on the bed. Woo, good night, little boy. And thank you for the apple, said the monster. Good night and thank you for playing, Dad. I mean, Mr. Monster. Eric hurried to correct himself. He looked shameful at the monster for having accidentally broken the game. But Eric's dad just smiled, kissed his son on top of the head, and said, Sleep tight, son, and don't worry. I'm sure Mr. Monster will be back tomorrow, especially since Mommy is making a big, big batch of chocolate chip cookies. The end. I want to thank you so much for listening to our read aloud on today. And I cannot wait to read another story with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.